A new report finds that most millennials are unsatisfied with their financial situation, but the numbers show most millennials aren't doing anything to get their money together. Millennials are struggling when it comes to saving and making major purchases like homes. Jeanette Mack is the Assistant Vice President of Corporate Communications at Navy Federal Credit Union, and she's joining us to help us millennials meet our financial goals. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, and this report sounds pretty bad for millennials and money. Oh, I know it does, and you know it, it's it's not all bad though. But but you're, it's, you're right. Only a third of millennials are actually focused on their finances, which means if you look at that from the flip side, millions of millennials are not paying attention to where their money's going, and as they're getting older, that's going to be key to their financial success. Yeah, and it seems that millennials are thinking about money. We do have financial goals. What should we be doing to actually meet those? Well, you know, it's it's funny because the rule of thumb that's been out there for the longest is that you should have three to six months saved up for an emergency, but yet 83% of millennials are not saving for that emergency. So what you need to start doing is start paying attention to where you're actually putting that cash flow. Where is it going? Is it going to happy hour? Is it going to your lattes in the morning rather than your long-term needs? So you've really got to start paying attention to your budgeting and that extra cash and putting it away for, for your future. Yeah, it really seems like there's a disconnect sometimes between millennials and money. Is it would you just mention that we're more into frivolous spending than other generations? <laughs> Well, no, actually, it's more than that. They're, they're actually burdened with, with quite a bit of debt as well. And so when, you, when we surveyed them, asking them what their, saving, what their priority is in, uh, in their finances, and, and it actually was savings. But the second most top priority was, the, was paying down debt. And for most people, not just millennial, when, you, when you're faced with having to pay down debt, that's where you focus your resources. But you know, the truth is that you can actually have a balance of both, saving and paying down debt at the same time. That's why the financial education is important. So you can learn how to actually start doing that and then you can start using some of that savings to actually help you pay down that debt. And when it comes to financial education, do you find millennials are reaching out to financial advisors or financial planners for help? No, actually they're not. Uh, only 17% are actually relying on financial providers for savings advice. So what they need to do is actually start looking at their financial institution, whether they're at a bank or a credit union, more, as more than just a place to start to put your paycheck and start using your debit card. You actually need to, to rely on them for sound financial advice, use their free budgeting tools, or maybe even their apps that they provide to help you track your spending and help you get to where you can actually start putting more money in savings. Yeah, it sounds like we need to change our mindset. So if you are one of those millennials strapped down with debt, you're saying, I want to save for retirement and not doing it, what's the first thing you would tell that person to do? I would say, first of all, relax. It's, it's, it's not uh, crucial because you do have time on, on your side. But then again, time is what is necessary for saving success. So that means the time is now to actually start saving for your future. Start saving for, the, for those emergency uh, uh, times and for those financial downfalls. And then actually take the time now to start educating yourself on how to be a better consumer, better, a better user of debt, and a better user of credit rather, so that you can get yourself out of debt safely and smartly and and start using credit in the right way. And today I understand that this study found that millennials in the military are doing better than other millennials. Why is that? Well, they are just on a slightly better financial footing, and it's probably because they are going into their career a lot faster, which means they're getting a paycheck a lot sooner, which means you have to start working with money a lot sooner. So they're establishing household budgets, getting married, and moving into financial milestones a lot faster than the general population. Gotcha. All right. And where should we send people for resources and more information to get that money together? <laughs> well, there are, there are resources out there. As a matter of fact, Navy Federal has created a website called Making Sense, and it is dedicated to financial education, especially for, mill for millennials. And you can go on there and go from not knowing anything at all to becoming way better at, at, at handling your finances, learning about how to do, uh, do the right things as far as your credit is concerned, and then even getting into your first car or your first home. Gotcha. All right, some really helpful advice here. Thank you so much for speaking with us, Jeanette. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it.